Well, back here at home, now it's Philly's turn to push the pause button. More people may be getting vaccinated every day, and yet COVID case numbers and hospitalizations are rising in Philadelphia. So city officials say they won't be rolling back restrictions along with the rest of the state on April 4th. Our Bill Anderson is live at the FEMA run vaccine site at the convention center with the details. Bill. Hey, Shana, and yes, over 100,000 people have been vaccinated, many at sites like the one right behind me here, the weather breaking, and people were hopeful to get some good news at Philadelphia's press conference today. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Our case counts from the coronavirus infection are rising, and now our hospitalizations are rising which means we need to be cautious until our vaccination rates are higher. As the vaccine line continued to grow outside Temple's Leocora Center, Philadelphia's health commissioner announced the city would not ease restrictions along with the rest of the state of Pennsylvania. Case counts are not, are not only rising here in Philadelphia, but they're also rising in southeast Pennsylvania as a whole and in Delaware, New Jersey, New York, and in the New England states. Anybody here for the shots? So as we made our way to the Black Doctors COVID Consortium vaccination site at the Leocora Center, and as Pennsylvania Pennsylvania Governor Wolf announced ease restrictions statewide April 4th. The plan for Philly, at least short term, it hit a snag. We will not make the changes that the governor's made in the city of Philadelphia on April 4th. We think it's better to wait for vaccination to protect people. For now, there will be no increase in restaurant capacity or gathering numbers in or outdoors, at least until April 30th. It's discouraging. But Dr. Ayla Stanford and her team of docs remind people to stay patient as they keep vaccinating. Be vigilant. We don't want to undo everything that we've done. I know it's warm, but you're going to be able to go to the park. You're going to be able to be in your backyard. You're going to be able to be on your bike. Like all those things are coming. And that mindset of frustration, but determination, that was shared by those just waiting to get vaccinated. It's kind of disheartening. I get scared. I heard it yesterday, and I'm, I'm like, oh, man. I still feel like some people don't believe in the vaccine. To move on from this pandemic, we need to get vaccinated. I mean, everyone's health is at stake. Another hurdle Philadelphia is facing is people who have managed to schedule appointments to get vaccinated at the convention center site by either copying links from others or just hacking the site. It's a bad idea because we were told today that those appointments, first shot appointments over the next three weeks, they will not be honored. Convention center for the next three weeks cannot take people for new first dose appointments because if we did that, then we would not be able to give them their second dose three weeks later. All right, guys, so that's a lot, a lot of challenges that we're facing. You know how we do it. We want to leave with some good news. They did say, although they will not be able to honor uh, vaccination sites, first shots uh, over the next three weeks, they do expect that they'll be getting an influx of Johnson & Johnson shots. So shortly thereafter, they will have several to start vaccinating people again over the weeks following that. So still a lot to look forward to, Jason, but we're making progress.